<laughs> inappropriate footwear. Good morning. And welcome to a very snowy world. Hasn't snowed any more overnight. Good morning, Dan. Morning. Dan's just sorting out, working out why the chickens came out in the dark at 6.45 this morning. And it's because that's what we set it to do. I changed it for 7.30. <laughs> but I'm going to, while, we, while we're doing this, I'm going to charge the battery. Yeah. <gasps> Susan, speak to me, Susan. Are you okay? Susan. She's okay, everybody. Susan Dibbs. Let's check on the real chickens. Checkers. Oh no, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Yeah, I need to brush the snow off. <laughs> yeah, that, it'll melt. It'll just melt. Hi, chickens. Well, you're nice and actually they're nice and sheltered in there, aren't they? Yeah. Don't think we'll be going on the swing today. There was a little robin bouncing about earlier. It's so tempting. Should we do it? Chickens are like some kind of super chickens. Aye, and they're big eggs. Three they're big cold. old eggs. God knows what time they laid them because they're really cold. Well, they are, aren't they? Refrigerated for yeah. freshness. Do you have a bit of thread on you? Thank you. I'm all steamed up as well. I can't <laughs> actually see my hair. <laughs> Would you like another cup of tea? Yes, please. Look at my hair. <laughs> my hair is fluffy fied. So it's Monday today. And Lilia's college is closed because, not, not because the weather's really dreadful here, but because it has a knock-on effect on travel and teachers and staff can't get there. So her college is closed for that reason. And Phoebe's school is closed for the same reason. However, snow days since COVID do no, lo no longer exist. She has to be logged on in 10 minutes. So that needs to go off. <gasps> Uh, and she needs to work, basically. She needs to homeschool today. But the good thing about it is she's going to do it from the sofa with her duvet in her pyjamas. I need to tell Mama's going to do the ironing because she has her airpods. Yeah, got the, the airpods. ironing board. Actually, that's because I'm about to edit today's the video that goes up today. So it's it was going to be a busy day anyway because I've got to pass up loads of orders, which I love doing, uh, but I need the kitchen table. I need to... Actually, I'll show you how I have to kind of run a small business, a small Etsy business, when I don't have an office or a craft room. So I'll show you that today. Uh, but now we've got everyone got at home as well. Um, and I've got a doctor's appointment halfway through the morning. And we're off to the panto tonight as well. We're off to oh see... Oh my God, is that tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Jack and the Beanstalk. Constant so excitement. A lot's happening today. Let's get started. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, he's behind me. Oh, I am. <laughs> Welcome to running an Etsy shop when you've only got two rooms downstairs and no office or craft room. This is the understairs cupboard of doom where things go to get lost. Whoops. <sighs> Ta-da. This is where like the hoover lives and our coats that we have for going out in the gardens to deal with the chickens and like appliances like the mixer, not the mixer, the food processor and stuff like that. So it's like a giant cupboard. It goes all the way back. You can't even see the back of it. And in here I have got a trolley with quite a lot of the stuff I use for my shop. So I'm just going to get that out. I just dropped the most vital part of my packing. 
upside down on the floor of the cupboard. is normally the picture of organised perfection. Oh, I'm going to have to reorganise this before I can get started. The sideboard is where I keep my uh, postage stuff. So I've got all of my envelopes, they're all sort of stacked up ready. So I've got my larger boxes, my smaller boxes, um, uh, stiff envelopes, bubble envelopes, which are the ones I use most. Got my little thing for making corners on my backing cards. And then I've got two boxes here, one of which I've just taken out and put on the table. But I've got uh, uh, the tree badges live in here. The rest of my stock lives on my trolley and also my tree enamel pins live here. So I'm going to get these out and put them on the table. So I've got my tree designs, which look like this. Actually this is Phoebe's design. And the matching badge. And then I've got my little drops of wonderful pins. These are the seconds. Um, I had quite a big back of floor pins which they actually did replace but I sell um, pins as seconds that are flawed and then I've got other stock on this trolley here in different boxes and then I've got my little packing station and I've got my Mac uh, book ready to get the orders up on the screen and start doing it. I do everything by hand, I address the envelopes by hand, I write the notes by hand and everything is manual um, which I love. I should probably streamline it a bit, but right now it works. Phoebe wants a snowball fight. I'm just getting my super thick crochet socks on, on top of super thick short bolt, shop bolt woolly socks, if I can get them on. I'm already cold because I'm cold from sitting down, parceling up orders. So I've just given, it's about half past one in the afternoon, so the heating's not on. So I've just given it a bit of a boost. So by the time we're absolutely freezing from having snow thrown at us, when we come back in, the house will be warm. Well, not warm, warmish. <laughs> I've never looked more fetching. Right, successfully got two layers of socks on. I'm going to put on my hand knit colourwork, my first ever pair of colourwork mittens. Oh, the chickens aren't happy. I'm going to bring you some warm food in a bit. But not right now. Where's your snowballs? Oh no, look. She's ammoed up. <laughs> She's been busy. 
Oh, shush. Incoming! You can't do that! It's not very stable, is that you? No! That is me! There is That is so rubbish! Gloves are amazing because the water doesn't yeah. soak through. So though your hands might get slightly cold eventually after a lot of yeah. scraping about in snow, they don't get wet. So I'm wearing a pair I made. Phoebe's wearing a pair that my friend Lily made. You're wearing proper Norwegian mittens. Yeah. Today's warm meal is scrambled eggs with mashed sweet potato. Very gourmet buffet round here. All right, greedy Peggy, you've got your own bowl. What are you doing in clouds? Just pushing aside all my parceling up how cold and red my hands are. And I'm going to open my advents while I've still got a bit of light. Let's just adjust a little bit. See a bit better. There we go. So, uh, as I've got, happened to have a number 12 for my random one that I put together from last year's Green Lumpkin Yarns, I thought we'd do that one today. So this was last year's advent from Suzanne at Green Lumpkin and it's Christmas Carol thing. Oh, this looks like a 20 gram one. The grocers, the grocers. That's, um, these are all lines from the book. Lovely. Oh, so festive. Like, I suppose like a grocer's shop window at Christmas. Lovely. Oh, and a Werther's original. I can take that with me to the theatre tonight. And now there's this year's one, which has all been absolutely beautiful tonals. I'm going to line them up at some point uh, when the light's a bit better and show you them all. And this is Merry Music themed. Ooh, another sweet to take to the theatre tonight. Oh, this is a nice one. It's Christmas time in the city. Oh, that is a very Christmassy green. Lovely. Okay. And then this is my Bridgerton inspired advent from Bumblebee Acres Fibre Farm, day 12. These have all been beautiful so far. And this is on their Coquette sock base. Pow Mall. Pow Mall. Isn't it? Oh, lovely. Very pleased with today's advent. Oh, what's he tape in the way there? <laughs> right, back to parceling some orders.
I'm trying to show my socks that I'm wearing because these are last year's Strictly socks. They are made in the yarn called Sockly Come Dancing. Oh, you can't really see them very well, can you? It's Sockly <coughs> Come Dancing and the pattern is the Cronkled Socks by Kay Jones and the Bakery Bears. I loved making these and these are one of my favourite ever pairs of socks. Now, I've got to wear Strictly socks because we're seeing Anton from Strictly. I'm going to see if I can get a picture or a video of my feet out in the theatre with the stage. That sounds so weird. Yeah, I'm sure nobody will look at me. Are you ready? Yes. You look very nice. Very nice. Second night out this week, Lilia. I can pull my hat nice down. Lilia is well prepared. She's got the Harry Styles cardigan on, which uh, was a joint effort between my mum and myself. Um, my mum did the knitting, I did the assembly. Show, show you how cosy it is when you wrap it round. <laughs> She's basically wearing a blanket. And you've got a beautiful hat on, but this I did not make this. This was a gift from our friend Ali. I and it's so myself. lovely. It's literally my favourite hat. I can't wear my I hat. Love it. And you do need to wear something warm whether or not it goes with your outfit. My coat will go in my outfit. What about a hat? It's minus two. Hood. From all of us here, thank you so much, Bromley. Take care, Merry Christmas. Good night, good night.